Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with Duik Bezel and After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepik.com, I will add the online link and project files. First step, let's select this table and lock layer. Go to down and select this background, again lock layer. Ok. Then select this character, all character layers, and right mouse, precoms, add name, character 2. And click OK. And look layer, select these character layers. Ok. Right mouse, precoms, add name, character 1. Click OK. Then open character 1, this composition, and let's select this layer. Go to solo and select this icon palm behind, move the anchor point up, click selection tool, select this layer, go to solo, select palm behind, move to left, this anchor point, and select this layer 1, select palm behind, move to here. Ok. So select this layer 1, pair onto this 11 layer, select this 11 layer, pair onto this 111 layer select this layer press air let's see okay nice select this main hand layer pair onto this body okay and select this layer 2 go to solo select palm behind move to here and click selection tool select 22 layer go to solo palm behind and move to here anchor point click selection tool and layer 222 go to solo move the anchor point up click selection tool and unsolo let's parent again this layers select layer 2 pair onto this 22 layer select this 22 layer pair onto this 222 layer ok and select this main hand layer 222 Pair onto this body. Okay, let's press R, change rotation. Nice. So select this body, go to solo, move the anchor point down, and click selection tool. And let's select this head, go to solo, and move the anchor point down, click selection tool, and unsolo. Select this head layers, eyes, eyebrow, and modes. Pair onto this head layer. Select this head layer. Pair onto this body. And select this foot left. Go to solo. And select this icon puppet pin. Let's add one puppet here. One here and one here. Click selection tool. Change puppet engine legacy. Click OK. And go to window. Open do it bezel 2 and click this icon and click add bones okay nice so let's select this puppet pin 3 pair onto puppet pin 2 select puppet pin 2 pair onto this puppet pin 2 1 okay and select these three puppet pins click auto rig i key Okay, let's select this controller and let's see. Nice, not bad. So, let's unsolo these layers and select this foot left and this puppet pins. Click this icon for hide layer and click this icon for hide all layers. Okay. And select this foot right. Go to solo, select this puppet pin, add one puppet here one here and one here click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy again click add bones and select this puppet pin 3 parent 2 select 2 parent 1 and select these three shape layers puppet pins go to click auto rig i key okay let's see nice then unsolo again these layers and select this foot right and these pins click this icon for hide layers 
nice let's see select this controller okay and this nice so let's select these hand layers click auto rig i key okay let's see nice okay and select these hand layers click auto rig i key let's see okay this is nice so let's close this duik basil window and click this icon for show layers and select this foot layer okay and move to back this body and select this controller let's see okay we not see this foot layer nice so again click this icon let's select these hand layers click this icon for hide these layers and and select this control let's move to right we have problem here let's solve it select this layer 222 let's move to left and select this controller let's see okay nice so select these 200 layers click this icon for hide layers okay so our character rig is done let's back to this character and open this character too select this body to go to solo and click this anchor point move to down this anchor point click selection tool and unsolo select this hand one go to solo and let's add puppet pins one here one here and one here click selection tool change again puppet engine legacy and go to window open duke bezel again click click this icon and add bonds select this puppet 3 parent puppet 2 select puppet 2 parent puppet 1 and select these three puppets click auto rig i key let's see nice let's unsolo these layers and select these three layers and hand click for hide layers and click this icon for hide all layers select this hand to go to solo let's add one puppet here one here and one here change puppet engine legacy click selection tool and add bones select this three parent two select two parent one and select this three puppet pins click auto rig i key and select this controller let's see okay nice let's unsolo again and select this hand tool and this three hand puppet pins click this icon for hide layers okay let's see nice so let's click this icon for show layers and select this puppet one and parent body select this body press air let's see okay nice and select this puppet one parent again body let's click for hide layers again select this body to press air let's see okay nice so select this head parent this body select this eyes parent to this head select this laptop and let's parent this controller to let's see select this controller okay nice select this body press air let's see okay let's select this laptop parent this body select this body press air let's see okay this is nice so all rig is done and we can make animation now let's close this duke bezel 2 window and back to character 1 and let's make touching animation so first step let's select this controller and move to here press air change rotation 
like this and select this controller let's press p make new patching keyframe and go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use whole shift press page down in the keyboard let's move to left go to 10 keyframe again move to right go to 10 keyframe again move to back and up let's see okay and go to 10 keyframe again move to down this hand go to 10 keyframe again so this is a random animation you can make your keyframes how to like it and again move to back again move to up select keyframes make easy let's see okay select these keyframes hold alt move to right for slowly keyframes let's see okay nice select this controller let's press p make new position keyframe go to here let's move to left again go to here move to up make keyframes easy let's see okay go to here again move to up again go to here move to right go to here move to back and up go to here move to up move to right and go to here let's press hold shift press air change rotation let's see so select this here let's press air make rotation keyframe and go to here change rotation go to again 10 keyframe change rotation and again make keyframes easy let's see okay and go to here make new rotation keyframe and go to five keyframes change the rotation like this and go to here make rotation keyframe go to again five keyframes change zero let's see okay select this body press air make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframe change rotation like this and in this time make new rotation go to 5 keyframes change rotation like this again make new rotation go to here change zero select keyframes make easy let's see okay let's back to character and let's here nice let's back to character one okay and select these modes let's zoom layer let's press s click this icon and make scale keyframe go to three keyframe one two three change scale five let's ten go to three keyframes one two three change one hundred make keyframes easy and select these keyframes let's move to left and hold alt click this icon open expression go to play button property loop out duration for done expression let's click this empty area let's see okay this is very speedily select these three keyframes hold alt and move to right Again, select keyframes, hold Alt, move to right. Okay, back to character. So, back to character 1. Let's close these mods keyframes and here. And body. Select these foot layers, foot controller. And go to here, press P, make new patching keyframe. And go to 5 keyframes move to right go to here make new position keyframe go to some keyframes and move to back this is random foot animation go to here again make new position go to five keyframes and select first keyframe control c control v make keyframes easy is let's see select this all keyframes hold alt move to right 
Okay. And select this foot controller, press P. In this time, make new position keyframe, go to here and move to right. Make keyframes easy. Let's see. And in this time, make new position keyframe, go to here and select first keyframe, Control C, Control V. Let's see. Okay, let's back to here and see here this animation. Nice. Let's back to character 2 and select this body. Press air, make new rotation keyframe. Let's move to right and go to 10 keyframes, change rotation 3. Make keyframes easy. Let's see. Okay. And go to here, make new rotation keyframe. Go to 5 keyframes and change rotation like this. Let's see. Okay, select this here, press R, make rotation keyframe and go to here, change rotation. Okay, let's zoom object and select this palm behind, move to anchor point here, click selection tool and move to up this here, this body. Let's move to here. Okay, make keyframes easy. Okay, and go to here, make new head, head rotation, go to here and change rotation like this. Okay, and go to here, make new body keyframe, select this keyframes, Control C and select this last keyframe, Control V. Okay, and select this head keyframes, Control C and Control V. So select this hand controller and in this time press P, make new position keyframe, go to here and move to right. Let's see. Okay. Make keyframes easy. And go to here, make new position keyframe, go to five keyframes, move to left. Okay. Let's select this laptop, press P, make new position keyframe, go to here and move to right. Okay, and in this time, make new position keyframe, go to here and move to left. Make keyframes easy is. Okay, select these eyes. Let's move to up this here. Press S, click this icon, go to here, make scale keyframe and go to 3 keyframe, 1, to 3, change scale 5 and go to again 3 keyframe, 1, to 3, change 100, make keyframes easy and control C, go to here, random control V for ice animations. Let's see. Nice, let's close this character too and select this eyes. Click this icon, okay, and press U, press S, click this icon and control V. Let's see. Again, control V, again and again. Nice, let's back to character and see here. So, thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.